Let's go over the brand new update and all of the new events, including the corruption and the starfall. Hey, little Lavians, it is Sitchcard here. Hopefully, I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. We're back today in the lovely Sword Fighters, the simulator, and we're going to be going over the brand new update, all the brand new events, and the lovely Relic Fusion. So, if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the lovely like button, new Sam's Car button. I greatly appreciate it helps me a lot, and let's get right on into it. So, first things first, we do have a brand new world. We also have the Christmas event is hanging around for a little while longer. So, if you have not gotten all the stuff for the Christmas event, want to keep farming it, using the min chance, good, uh, good time too. So, we do have the Marine Castle back here. So, got that one piece. So this is the brand new area back here. Uh, egg, I'm being told, what was like 40, 40 DD. So not too bad. Uh, we have the Marines back here. We have the Barbarian Pirates. We have Madman. And we have the big boss guys, which is the Sky Knights right here. Now for our special areas involving this new zone, if you go to the left, there's this giant hole. So during the darkness event, you will have malevolent spirits spawn. You also will have the lost titans back here spawn. So these are these are some of the stats. These guys are probably going to have the lesser secret as always. Now, for some weapons from back here, this is going to be the godly lower tier legendary, but that's still pretty good. And there is the Rapier of Vengeance, which that looks really, really good. Already outclassed my Marine Mauler, which was the exclusive. That needs a little bit of a buff because I should not have tiered out of that as quickly as I did. But yeah. Now, these guys only spawn during darkness. So these are our darkness mobs back here. Now, I'm going to go show you the location and what the Blood Moon guy looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You're supposed to be able to climb the rope, but apparently not. So during the Blood Moon, if you are looking for the final guy that is going to have the higher end secret, he is going to be up here. So the mobs I'm talking about, if you scroll all the way down, there we go. The Malevolent Spirit and Lost Titan are nighttime only. And then the Blood Knight is the darkness only. So uh, Blood Knight spawns right here. Now, we have a bunch of new stuff that was also added. So we have new events. I'm going to go over the new events. So we have the corruption event. So when you see the corruption event, it's going to indicate to you a zone to go to. And in this zone, there's going to be mobs with like little red particles all over them. What you're going to want to do is you want to go attack them. So they are going to drop something that is called Corruption shards. These corruption shards are going to be used by the lurking shadow merchant. So let me show you where the shadow merchant is located at. So you need to go to Ancient Sands. And he is really easy to find. You're going to go back here. You're going to go up here. And he's going to be with a box right here to the left. So he does basically have random boosts. Now... This guy is also very important because we now have enchantment transfer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically the first weapon you put in here. So I'm going to select this old sword that is fortune two. You are going to be able to transfer enchants from weapon one to weapon two. Now, what does this mean? This means you can now move enchants from one weapon to another. I don't know if they stack. Here's the deal. This is really expensive to do. The other major issue is, is the more rare the enchants are, the more expensive it is and the rarer the weapon you are transferring it to is also changes how expensive it is this is a base level enchant it cost me 100 shards to go to this guy like that's nuts if i put it here to this one it's cheaper like you couldn't like this is crazy so if i want to move the speed enchant i don't know why it's prompting me for the enchant menu it does that on occasion so if i want to transfer this jolly and the that one so this guy, yeah, well, it looks like it does just change for the rarity. We thought it was the other way, but I guess it may have been changed. Not quite sure on that one. So this is how this works is basically the rarity of the item that you're wanting to put stuff on does affect the enchants. So, I mean, technically you could 
Get a low end item. Get a super enchant on it. Like I could get this guy right here and I could want to put its enchants on this candy cutter. It's going to cost me a hundred of these. This is super expensive. I'm just letting you know. This is very, very expensive to get. So just kind of keep that in mind that 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 it's going to be it's going to be hard to get. So the next one we got, I'll show you the starry sky right here. And finally got a starfall event. So it is in Skull Cave. So what is this event? There is little bitty stars. So I got a Christmas raid and a coin boost. Is there more? Literally just one. Was literally just one for a coin boost. I'm being told you can get other boosts too, so I guess I guess that's kind of worthwhile. Okay. But yeah, we got Starry Sky, so that was actually really good. I mean, this is gonna be really good just to farm buffs. I'm gonna be really honest. This is this is farm some buffs up. It's gonna help you out a lot. Um, the next thing to note, and we're gonna be talking about, is relic leveling up or relic evolving, whatever you want to call it. So if you go here and you go to the dungeon, let's go to the dungeon. And we go to the left. If you go to the left right here, there's an anvil. On this anvil, you are going to be able to level up your relic. So what you do is you select a relic and then you select other things to add to your relic. And this is going to increase the level. Uh, and what this does is going to make it even stronger than when it was before. Now, I will tell you the rarity does make a difference. So if I don't put stuff that says rare in here, yeah, it's not going to be as much. So Mask of the Dead is actually from first dungeon or easy dungeon but the helmet which is a lower rarity but from the harder dungeon is worth more so basically the further along it would be in the dungeon the more experience it is worth and the rarer it is the more it's worth so i'm going to give an example i'm going to go ahead and put this magic quill i'm not going to use that we'll put mask of the dead we're going to put all this in here actually before we do that i want to show you the stats of it at so if you don't know, Ring of Poison is supposed to be 2400 damage, 2400 power. So we don't have that. And so let's go ahead and select that. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything in here that I don't need. Because I don't, I don't need a lot of this. So I can just use it to level up. So I am going to keep Snowball, Dragon Egg, and Lionheart Ring. There we go. So I'm going to be able to get this up almost to level 7, but it will be getting an increase. So let's see where we're at for stats right now. And that puts it at 2650. So I'm getting about 50 each time. I don't know what the max level is. I'm going to be working on that. Some people are getting confused because it says four out of seven or seven out of 50 over here and thinking the max is 50. I don't know the max yet. So I'm going to work on that today. I'm going to have a full guide to how much like XP is on what stuff tomorrow. So I will be doing runs again starting on Monday. So hopefully I will be shiny, not shiny hunting, secret hunting, hunting tonight. And uh, so hopefully this helps y'all out. There is a few more things we're going to talk about real quick before I leave y'all. Shiny celestial, regular celestial. Or mythic, sorry. Celestial legendary. Shiny legendary. There is two new mounts that have been introduced. I have seen pictures for them. We have the following. We have Giant's Chain and Ethereal Shield. So we have two new mounts. Those are going to be faster. Because if y'all didn't notice with this new event, um, someone got nerfed. Yeah. So they got nerfed really bad. So we do have two new ones. The Giant's Chain is going to be from the Mines area. Mythic Mines. And the Shield is um, from the newest area. So those are the two new, uh, basically mounts. So plebs, I'm going to grind a little bit and I will see y'all next time.